In this video, we'll be working on an elevator problem. I'll let you read the question first before we start. So someone left an iguana in an elevator for some reason and it's riding up and down. Hopefully, the owner will be charged with animal abandonment, but in the meantime, we have to work with this iguana. So first, let's define our system. This is the iguana and the elevator. We're not dealing with the tension in the elevator's cables, just to be clear. Now, let's define our coordinate system. Positive will be up, and negative will be down. Let's draw a free body diagram and look at the forces on the iguana. There are just two vertical forces, the normal force exerted by the floor on the iguana and the iguana's own weight, which is the force of gravity exerted on the iguana. Now let's begin. When the elevator is not accelerating, the elevator is either at rest or traveling at a constant speed. So, the normal force would equal to W, which is mg. This is because when we write out our equation, the sum of all forces equals ma. We find that n will be equal to W. Remember, we defined up as positive and down as negative. If an object is moving up and speeding up, this means the net force and acceleration is upwards, so we know B can't be right. A is missing the normal force, so it's also incorrect. C is correct because we have A upwards due to the normal force, which is causing the net force. Now we can return to our question and see how this applies. Now, the elevator is moving up and speeding up. If it's moving up, this means we're starting from rest from a lower floor. Inertia would prefer the iguana to stay stationary, but the elevator floor must push up on the iguana to accelerate upwards because the elevator and the iguana move together. Let's look at the forces involved. The sum of forces equals ma. Once we take this out of vector notation, we have negative w plus positive n. I'm adding the positive sign in front of the n just for you to get in the habit of adding the forces together with the appropriate sign. Now, because acceleration is upwards and positive, and n is in the direction of motion, we have the elevator going up and n will be greater than w. Now the elevator is moving up and slowing down. So here, the iguana and the elevator are initially moving upwards at a constant speed and slowing down to rest at a higher floor. We have the acceleration pointing downwards because it's slowing down and causing a decrease in velocity. We know that acceleration will be down and W is causing this. In this case, the inertia of the iguana would prefer to keep moving up at the same speed, but the force the elevator floor exerts on the iguana decreases because there is acceleration in an opposite direction. We can see this from our equation. We can also see that n will equal to the weight minus ma, so the normal force will be less than the weight and this causes the iguana to slow down in this case. Now the elevator is going down and speeding up. If it's going down, our acceleration will also be in the negative direction, which is down as well. So we have the same signs of the forces and the acceleration as in the previous case, resulting in the same equation for the normal force. 
It's a similar situation we just had now when the elevator was going up and slowing down. But here, the elevator and the iguana are initially at rest at a higher floor and now the elevator is speeding up in the downwards direction towards a lower floor. The inertia of the iguana would prefer to remain at rest, but the contact force between the iguana and the elevator is reduced due to the acceleration of the elevator. Here is the last situation where the elevator is going down and slowing down. The elevator is initially moving down at a constant speed and then slows to rest at a lower floor. This is where it gets tricky. Acceleration is actually up this time. But why? The elevator isn't going up. Here, the inertia of the iguana would prefer to keep moving down at a constant speed, but the elevator floor must push up on the iguana to accelerate it up and slow it down. Basically, the elevator is accelerating up to reduce the magnitude of the velocity. If this didn't happen, the iguana would sink into the elevator floor and that wouldn't be nice. So luckily, the elevator and the iguana move together and we have the equation. The sum of all forces equals ma equals negative w plus positive n. So n equals w plus ma. I'm putting mg here instead of the w so you remember that w is actually mass times the acceleration of gravity. So the normal force or the contact force between the iguana and elevator is increased due to the acceleration of the elevator. The iguana can feel this in its leg muscles. Now we're ready to put in some numbers so that you can find out the magnitude of n in all of these cases. I hope you found this video helpful.